Peace. My name is Haven Bullis, and today I gotta do this video. First, I'd like to shout out Unamni for the $25 Cash App. You sent me. Thank you. And I would like to shout out Clay Cooper for the $5 Cash App. You sent me. Thank you. Thank you for your donations. Thank you to everybody who has donated in the past, and thank you to everybody who's gonna donate in the future. Well, I would also like you to like this video, share this video, comment on this video, watch it to the end. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell. If so, if you are already subscribed, make sure you hit the bell and donate if you can. Well, anyway, family, let's talk about the protests that happened yesterday. Day three. I mean, the third one. This was a failure, just like the other two. But the thing that made this one kind of peculiar is because there was no counter protest this time. And there were more people coming to to actually watch to see what was going to happen and security than actual protesters. That's how it was looking. It was crazy. Shout out to um Pan Pan Africanism. Excuse me, Pan Africanism strikes back. Brandon, he showed up. He recorded some things that he saw there. But I want to talk about something that I really saw there that was really disturbing. And this is why I do what I do when I say what I say. Connie Nordis. The woman who's leading this um, protest had some black dudes show up, you know, trying to like be security for her. Or I think they was hired to show up. She started asking them about their lineage. And this is why, again, I told y'all, do not show up to this event. Let FBA hold their own nuts. Because look what happened. People come in this to protect you, whether they were being paid to do it or they just did it out the kindness of their heart because they saw a black woman about to get her ears stomped together on the street and they felt that they didn't want that to happen so they was going to stand there and protect you and then you start trying to g-check them about their lineage where where their parents from where they from where their parents from where their grandparents from that's what she was doing i'm waiting for the footage of that but when i get the footage i'm gonna do a separate video about that but this is what i'm talking about stop coming to these events and stop trying to run behind people because people keep calling me i'm off code because i'm laughing at fba because they're getting pumped I'm not off code. I'm, of course I'm going to laugh at them because the people punking them know that they're FBA and they don't represent black people and they're going at them because of that reason and because they got their own smoke with them. And that's it. I'm not a part of the FBA hate group. I don't support it. So if people want to go at them, let them go at them. I'm not going to be um, putting the cape on like, well, they still black. So let me go out there and fight random people who ain't got no smoke with me because, you know, FBA and they still black. And while you doing all that, the FBA people is still attacking you, still hating on you and mocking you. Like, let's say, for example, if a like 200 people show up to this protest, they probably would have tried to beat up the same people who, who also showed up to protect Connie. They probably would have tried to beat them up or tell them to get out of here, you tether. We don't need you here. We got this. FBA don't run like you, tether. See, when there was no smoke. And she was and and she was in the clear. Now she's gonna start G checking people and try, trying to apply pressure, just like what Tariq did. We was all black when when American Cholo was on was on your behind. Soon as they ease up on you, now it's tether this, tether that. Us FBAs. This is what I'm talking about. Mind your business. And I'm gonna end this video here. Like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment, tell me what you think. Um, the protest was terrible. It was a failure. They were begging for jobs at the same place that they said was racist. Instead of just going to make their own quote unquote radio station, you know, put their money together, ask Tariq to come up off that million for that fake museum. Well, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment, tell me what you're thinking on that. No family peace.